Hi, I'm Marley from the Bradley Public Library and today we are making rock photo holders. So to get started, this is what you're going to need. I have rocks of varying sizes, doesn't super matter. They're pretty smooth to make it easier to wrap the wire around and so they lay flat. I have paint, varying colors, paint brushes, wire photos, and then wire cutter. And then I also have like a Sharpie and a glue stick to be able to wrap the wire around to give them some nice little shapes. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to paint all of these a base coat of white. Um, any other color that I want to paint on top of it will go on a lot easier and be seen a lot better if I have that white um, base coat. So that is what we are going to do first. Okay, so I have my rocks painted a base coat of white. So what I'm planning to do is I think I'm going to mix up some gray. So I'm gonna have a gray rock, a white rock, and a blue rock. So uh, now we're gonna do base coats again, um, and then we'll do our accents. So we're gonna do that next. So now we have our base coats done. I have a white, a gray, and a blue. So we are ready to do our patterns. So I am thinking that for the white one, I'm going to use splatter paint. I'm going to use like an old toothbrush to flick on uh, some blue, some gray, and some black. Then I think for the gray one, I'm gonna do some stripes, um, maybe with some little flowers in the middle, and um, we'll see how straight I can make those lines because probably not very straight. And then for the blue one, I'm going to do flowers. So I have these pencils with um, little pins in them. This one's a, I think a nail, and then this one's a little pin to help dab on the dots to make sure that they look decent. So we are going to do that next, and then after that, we will be wrapping them in wire, and then that should be our last step. So let's do that next. Okay, so I have my rocks done. This one is probably my favorite. I'm a sucker for floral and I really like it. Came out better than I was expecting. So did this one. It looks kind of like a little egg and I like it a lot. <laughs> so next up, we are going to be wrapping our rocks to be able to hold the photos. So this is about five yards of steel wire. It is 20 gauge and um, this is a roughly done sample. So you're going to want to start at the bottom. I'm going to start by wrapping the rock. You're gonna to wanna to do it fairly securely so that it can sit flat on whatever surface you put it on and so that it does not slip off the rock and like force any of that paint that you just did off. Um, I do have some paint left over that I kept just in case I need to do any touch-ups. So that might be something you wanna consider. And then you're going to want to use any of those like pens or Sharpies or whatever you have to create these circles and help kind of give it a feeling of motion, which I like. And then I'm going to use a glue stick for this biggest circle at the top. I'm going to do it about four times. And so we are going to get started on that. I'm going to do it three times. So let's see how it goes.
so that is it. So these came out, but they were kind of a hassle to do. So some things that might make it a little bit easier for you is you're gonna definitely wanna start from the bottom. And the most important way to start is to make sure everything that you're doing at the bottom is very, very tight. You're gonna have a hard time getting any, any further if this keeps sliding on and off the rock. So like this doesn't move at all. Um, this one moves a little bit and that makes it made it a little more difficult. This was my first one. <clears throat> so you're also going to want to make sure you tighten it um, before you start going up. And then this is probably the second most important part is this end. Um, we wrapped it around the end uh, all the way around the circle to hold the picture in. We didn't do that here and that made it a little more difficult. Sometimes the picture can just go through if it doesn't have anything to hold onto at the bottom. We don't have that problem with this one. So thank you so much for joining me. I am glad that these are as cute as they are after so much work. The rock painting was a lot of fun. The wire was a little difficult. So you'll definitely wanna make sure that you have needle nose pliers and uh, wire cutters when you're doing this. So let me know what you think, um, how they were to make. <laughs> and I hope that you have fun doing it through the whole time. 